What's up guys, Sam Man back with another DC Multiverse review by McFarlane Toys. Today we're taking a look at Superman. Now I've already reviewed the Batman the Animated Series and the Superman the Animated Series figures. I ended up finding Superman and Harley Quinn. I actually ended up finding all of them, but I only managed to pick up this one and Harley Quinn because of the whole street date problem. But I know a lot of people don't like these. I know a lot of people complain on my reviews about how they're not feeling the figures. I actually like the direction that we're going with as far as the DC figures. It's a lot better than Mattel um, as far as what they've been doing lately. Um, so I'm really excited. And I saw McFarlane's live stream on Instagram and or his uh, Instagram TV. And he, you mean, if you have Instagram, go ahead and check it out. And he talks about that he's listening to the fans. So I'm sure down the line, he's going to be listening to what we say and he'll be fixing the problems. I've always been a supporter of McFarlane Toys. I love the Spawn figures. I love a lot of figures that he's done, the Movie Maniacs, a, lo a lot of stuff. But um, enough of that. Let's go ahead and take a look at the packaging. So I've mentioned it before. I love the box that they come with. It's a very, very large box. It's got the DC Multiverse. The uh, card inside has comic books, you know, covers in the back and comic book strips. This is uh, 12 plus McFarlane Toys, 22 moving parts, it says. On the back, you have an image of the uh, card that you're going to get that comes with the figure because it does come with a collectible card. So it says here, this is from uh, the sources Action Comics 1000. And it says each figure comes with a trading card and we have all of the figures right there at the bottom that you can collect. I need to get that vehicle. Um, but that's pretty much it for the packaging. Let's bring out Superman. Okay, let's go ahead and take a look at the accessories that Superman does come with, and he does come with a card. I bent it a little bit, taking it out of the package, unfortunately, but it tells you the source there, Action Comics 1000, uh, which is what this is kind of based off of, or supposed to be based off of. There's a little description on the back of the card. So now I have, as far as the collectible cards go, we have Batman the Animated Series and Superman the Animated Series. So really cool to have all that. He also does come with some interchangeable hands. He's got a closed fist and a kind of like an open hand. And he also, this is something that's really cool. He does come with a flight stand and a display base. So if you really don't want to use the flight stand, you just slide this out. I'm pretty sure I can get this to go unless it actually locks in. I probably should have done this before off camera. There you go. So you just slide it out of the slot there and you can use this just as a display base because it's got the peg there. Or you can put the actual flight stand or the arm, whatever you want to call it. You just slide that in, it clamps in and this here opens and closes for Superman. So I don't know why this didn't come with the um, the animated series Superman, but I'm sure you can use it for that one if you really wanted to, but there is the stand that he comes with. All right, guys, here we have Superman outside of the packaging. You know, I really wanted to do a comparison with the NECA Superman that came with the Alien, I believe it was. I don't have that one, but um, if you guys own it, you guys can let me know the comparison on this because it kind of resembles a little bit of a NECA figure. Um, the hair looks great. They gave him like a blue-black. Hopefully the light can pick that up. But you can see some blue in the in his hair, and it, obviously it's black, and it's got like a glossy paint finish. I really like that. You can I like the skin coloring they use. You can see a little bit of peach in there. Facial expression looks pretty good. Uh, the eyes seem to be blue. I can't really tell. But the overall sculpting on his head sculpt and the facial expression, the ears and everything look really good. You have the cape going over the shoulder here on each side. You can see the neck area, the huge traps. You can see the muscle muscle definition right there in the back as well. Um, the cape is uh, sculpted in a certain way where it's kind of, uh, is it flowing in the wind? No, it's not really flowing on the wind compared to the, anim the animated version. I like the red that they use on here. Again, it's a soft rubber material. You can see the, the, the wrinkles that are sculpted in there. But I do like the way it kind of folds in at the front. So I do like, I do really do like the cape. And then there's the inside part. Um, here is a back shot of Superman. So you can see the trunks, the belt and the boots and then you have the s logo there this is all sculpted and it's a uh, metallic red i really like the red i mean you if when you see it in person you can see how much it pops out and then you have the yellow in the background you have the belt there the little loops right there the slots i guess you can see where the belt's sliding through the red trunks and then he has open hands this is probably what i'm going to display him with you know to get him in kind of like a flying pose and then you have the little detailing there in the sleeves and then all the muscular definition, but you can see some of the outfit detailing, like the lining and the suit, and then there's the lower part of the legs, and there is the boots, so pretty good detailing on the figure overall. He's got uh, peg holes at the bottom of the feet. I'm really, really liking this figure. Now, as far as the articulation goes for Superman, the arms, ooh, this is tough. 
I don't even know if this is going to go in and out. He's got the cape's going to the cape's going to get in the way of the arms going in and out. Um, I don't know if the, there it goes. Okay, there, perfect. Okay, so the arm does go in and out. You can see that there. Um, he's got rotation in the arm. Uh, what else do we got? We got a bend at the elbow. The hand can rotate. It also has a hinge there. He's got that like chest articulation here. I don't know if it can really do anything with this figure. Yeah, you can kind of get it to go forward and back. He's got upper torso uh, rotation. He's got an ab crunch. He's got, he can rotate at the bottom here as well. And you can also see the ab definition. Um, so he's got a pretty good range of motion. The legs go in and out pretty far. They go forward and back. He's got double jointed knees. The upper leg doesn't really rotate. So you can kind of get it to go in and out a bit. Um, no lower leg rotation that I can tell. The foot can rotate. He's got toe, it actually can go up and down too. You can kind of like, it's got that ankle pivot and then you have toe articulation. It's, this one's a little bit stiff, so I gotta have to, I'm gonna have to loosen the joints a bit, but um, it's got pretty good, pretty good articulation. You can get him into some pretty cool fight poses and some flight poses. All right, now as far as the display base goes, I'm trying to get him into a flight pose here. Uh, you gotta get the clamp around his waist a certain way. It does, it does go around his waist, but you're gonna have to kind of maneuver it. Uh, but if you want to get him like in a flight pose like this, it actually kind of works. It'll hold the figure, which I'm actually surprised with. And this can, um, obviously you can adjust the the uh, the tip here. So if you want to have him just, you know, kind of like in a flight pose straight up, or if you want to get him, you know, flying like that, you, it's able to do it. And you can see the base holds onto it, holds onto the figure perfectly. Um, I just wish that the head would go up a little bit more. You're not going to be able to, so you'll have to get him to a certain angle. But the... Uh, the flight pose or the stand actually works very, very well. I'm just, I just suck at posing my figures. So I'm sh pretty sure a lot of you guys can get this guy in a really cool flight pose, but it does the job. It actually holds the figure really, really well. And I was actually worried that it wasn't going to be able to support the figure. So here's a little bit of a comparison next to the Superman animated series figure by McFarlane. Obviously the animated one is a lot more bulkier. Um, are they the same height? They look to be the same height, to be honest with you. But I honestly love the animated one. A lot of people didn't like it, but I really, really like the, this version of Superman. I think McFarlane did a great job, but there's a little bit of a comparison with the two. And if you really wanted to use the flight stand for the animated Superman, you can if you want to. Um, it does go around the waist. I'm not sure how well it'll support him, but uh, it does work for this version of Superman as well. And there you go, guys. There's my quick little review at the McFarlane Toys DC Multiverse Superman based off of the, I'm going to say it's based off the Action Comics 1000, which I think is what the look that they're going for was based off of the card right here. Um, so like I said, you get the card, you get the flight stand, which I actually absolutely love that. And then you get the interchangeable hands that you get here. And, I, and switching out the hands is no problem at all. I really, really like this Superman. Uh, I'm going to try to work on some posing techniques for him because he's definitely going to stay on the flight stand uh, but you guys in the comments below let me know is this a pickup is it a pass what do you think overall if you guys have this and the NECA Superman figure let me know which one is the better of the two but I really want to know your guys' thoughts on this because uh, a lot of people aren't really feeling the, the DC Multiverse McFarlane figures but I want to know your thoughts is it a pickup is it a pass is it better than the animated series let me know in the comments below thank you for watching subscribe like the video guys to help support the channel we'll see you soon awesome let's see uh, how... <laughs> Bill's gonna kill you Subs